right, in this video here, guys, we're going to do a comparison between stock spindles and two inch lowering spindles like I have on here now. So stay tuned. All right, yeah, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is first off, with, I got the two inch drop spindles on here now. We're going to take a whole bunch of dimensions. We're going to do like how many degrees I can get with this direction. And over there, how many degrees I can get with that direction. And the height I have right now. And then we're going to swap them over to the stock ones. And then see with the measurements how much differences we have. And then also I'll put one side by side and we can compare the two. We got 35, that one, 25 here, pretty far, now 30. So we just got both sides off. Now basically just to take the old one out, um, upper ball joint, lower ball joint, tie rod in, brake housing. And that's it. Um, of course, uh, the bearings with the ball, the nut and all that in here inside the brake. But we can do that when we get this whole piece off. And then we'll do a comparison. Um, I won't walk y'all through me doing all this, but I'll bring y'all back when I have it all the way off. All right, so basically the tools that I'm needing so far is a three quarter inch wrench, an inch, a three eighths Allen for the brakes, a ball joint spoon, an inch and three sixteenths for this uh where the um shit anyway the center of the axle and of course just some regular pliers and a hammer and that should cover you for now what i do is i get an extra jack stand i put it right here and then when i take this brake off i just lay it on it and also i would support the control arms underneath with another jack just so when you separate this, it doesn't bling, you know, down on you. But don't go so high that you get off your jack stands. But other than that, it's about all you need. All right here, so this is what we've been looking for. Let's look at the comparison here. Here is the two inch drop spindle. And this is the factory. So you can already kind of tell the difference right here between this distance where that center axle is to here. See the comparison. And then also up top, the distance from here to here, here to there. So really what's happening is you see how this one's on the low side and then this one looks like it's like right in the middle. And that gives you the two inch drop. So let's lay them like this. Now this is the difference. You see this stop right here. 
Now you see how thick that is? And you see the stock one? There is none. That is what eliminates your travel. Now you probably could shave this down, but I'm pretty sure they made it like that. So if you were running smaller rims and stuff, when you do real big turn, you're not eating into the control arms is what I'm guessing. But that right there is the reason why your degrees on these spindles, when you put these lowering spindles in, messes up your wheel travel and you don't, your turning radius gets reduced. So that is the reason why we're here now. And I'm going back to these stock ones, especially since I have the coolovers. Let me take y'all over here. So yeah, since I have um, the coolovers here, you know, I can adjust this two inches of travel back down now and take the distance of the, me putting the factory control arms back in to play. So that's the reason why when um, I give you all this information on certain dropped parts and what I would recommend, because I've already went down this road here and made all these mistakes. And I'm just trying to give you all information to where when y'all lower your truck, it's going to be the best riding quality you can get by lowering it. And you still keep it as close to factory as possible. So that's the reason why we're here. Of course, this is the cheaper way to lower a truck, but in the long run, it affects, in my opinion, you know, a lot of stuff that can come in handy. You know, if you're, if you're turning into a tight parking lot or trying to do a UE real quick, you might need that extra inch right there, or inch and a half, whatever that is of turning degrees. It's probably... A lot of degrees difference, maybe 10 degrees. So anyway, we're going to get this stock one back in here and see how she looks. All right, guys, we got her back together here. And let me get my deal here. Before you remember, we were sitting at about, I think it was 28 and a half. Let's go back and relook. But we're sitting just a little bit below 30 and a half. And about 30 and a half. So if we went from 28, that's one, two. Yep, exactly about two inches. Just like what they said. And now as you can see here, the wheel is back in the wheel well, like it should be compared to before. It was kind of sticking out. All right, so we got her measured up here. I kind of eyeballed it back to the way I had it before. And it looks like, you know, as you can see, I think before it was at like 35. So it's just a couple of degrees, probably three or four degrees, not quite 10 of a difference. Which probably could make a significant difference when it's coming to turning, so. But there we have it. That's pretty much the 
comparison here between two inch shack uh, spindles versus factory spindles. Yep, so uh, that shows you here just kind of a little bit of comparison. You know, if you've kind of been wondering what's the difference between drop spindles and factory spindles and how it could control your the way your truck turns and all that. So anyway, hopefully this video comparison kind of is helpful. Make sure uh, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Keep it simple. Keep it sweet.